Harvest Automation is bringing smart, nimble, autonomous robots into the field of agriculture. Farm workers in this country, the, the availability of people to do that work has been in decline over the last 10 or 15 years. And so we saw a real opportunity to bring robotics in to take on some of those tasks that have historically been, been done by people. These are some robots. Yes. Does this have a name? It is Harvey. So we started out, uh, Hello, you know, as engineers do, uh, yeah. giving it a serial number. So it was the HV Harvest Vehicle 100. And we had a visitor in one day who said, oh, you should call it Harvey. And it immediately stuck. Each robot also has a name. This is Astro. How do the robots know to go where they're going? How do they know what to do? Well, they're pretty simple little critters. Yeah. They, they just have a few things they, they need to know about. And, okay. And so that's what they focus on. So they start up, and, and they don't have a plant. And they say, okay, I need a plant. So they've got a sensor that lets them see the plant. There are some plants over there. Are there. there are some plants over there. I'm going to get one of those. I'm going to get one of those. I find a plant, I pick it up. Okay, now what do I need? I need a boundary tape. This right guy's there. looking yep. for a boundary tape. And he found one. I found a boundary tape. Now I'm going to follow that tape. And I will keep following that tape until I see some more plants. So now I see some more plants ahead of me, and it sees a pattern of plants. And it says, okay, where is the next hole in the pattern? Oh, there's a hole. That's where my plant goes. I think I know what's coming next. Right? I don't have a plant anymore. Boom! Back I need a plant. The, yes. Okay. Back to the beginning. Our goal is to revolutionize agriculture. The world is going to be tasked in the next 30 to 40 years to produce 70% more food. And it's, it's going to have to do that with essentially finite resources. Same, same amount of land, same amount of water. So we see that robotics will play a big role in solving that, that food problem in the next 30, 40 years.